You know, we all go through times in life where we have to fight giants. But before we fight giants in our life, whether there be a situation in our health or job or school, or even as a church, as a community, we have to spend some time at the brook. And so for a moment, I want us to look at the life of David before he fought Goliath, what he did. You know, before Jesus went public on the cross of Calvary to pay our debt of sin, he went privately to the Garden of Gethsemane to get on his knees and pray for us. In the same way, David, before publicly defeating Goliath, he first privately came to a brook to select five smooth stones. David was a shepherd boy, so he knew where to find smooth stones. It was in the brook that he sought out these rocks. I want us to take a moment and look at the symbolism here in this story at the Battle Brook. God has a way of using natural elements to relate spiritual principles. The stones in this story represent us. The shepherd's bag represents the local church. The sling that David put these smooth stones into represents God's power. And the brook itself represents the Holy Spirit. So as you and I look at this story together of what David did, I want us to keep in mind these four elements. The stone, us. The brook, Holy Spirit. Shepherd's bag, local church, and of course the sling, God's power. So turn with me, if you will, to 1 Samuel 17 to 40 as we look at the battle brook. <laughs> 